everyone it's Krista and welcome to my channel today is mixed media frenzy and I'm going to be doing this um, sketch right here that you see in the upper right hand corner first I'm going to gesso um, put some clear gesso on my white cardstock and this is just to prep my page um, I know you guys hear me say this all the time but in case someone new is watching I just wanted to let them know um, what I'm doing step by step so the clear gesso, what it does is it preps your page so that if you use any type of water um, sprays or you know anything, acrylic paints, whatever it may be, any product, it's not gonna seep through your paper. And it is easier if you make a mistake to wipe it up with like a baby wipe or to dab it with your paper towel. It just um, really does the trick. So that's why I like to gesso my page first. So now after that dries, I'm going to go in with some Vicki Booten Iridescent Glaze and you can use this glaze as is or you can color it with another color. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use some of my magical powders that I had. This is just a flat pink and I'm going to mix it with my little knife, my little spatula and once I get that mixed to where I want it. Um, the powder goes quite a long way so you don't really need to put a lot in and um, this just happened to work out perfect I didn't have to put more in and now I'm going to use this dabbing this is like a little sponge you could get these at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go in a circular motion with it the best that I possibly can and what I really like about this is that see the streaks of a little bit of red in there or hot, it's like a hot pink. I love that. And I didn't expect that to happen, and it did, and I love it. So it gave it a little bit more interest. So I was truly excited about that. And um, I'm just trying to make it, you know, look sort of like the layout, <laughs> but um, the sketch, but I didn't get it exactly perfect, but that's okay. Most of this is going to get covered up. And of course, this is me doing my take on it so now I'm going to water down the rest of my glaze with some water I just sprayed some water in there and I'm gonna try and mix it as much as I can get it watered down because I want to go in and do some splatters now I did have to keep going in with the water because the glaze is quite thick but this is what was left over so I just wanted to use up more of my product and this was a good way to do that because you want to extend as much as you can of your product and not really waste anything I don't like to waste because it's it costs a lot of money for this stuff so I like to use up as much as I can of it on my um, layouts when I'm doing mixed media especially because that stuff could be very um, expensive so I'm just doing a lot of splatters and I do um, some splatters in the middle of the circle as well as around it. Um, I like to do splatters. I love splattering. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to do. So um, yeah. So now it's dry and um, I'm going to go in with another magical powder and this one I'm just doing with water. And this one is red. It's red to me but it's called Kaka, Kaka Ku Cocktail Cardinal or something like that. I don't know, it's some weird name. They come up with really these cool names for this stuff. And I'm going around and doing splatters now of that color because I wanted the pink and I wanted a little bit of red. So I'm just gonna go in and do some darker ones. And I really love the iridescent glaze um, that I just did because it's shine, it has a little shine to it, which is really, really nice. So I really liked that as well. So I couldn't wait to do this layout because I just think it's so pretty. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use these two photos of my kids, my girls. Um, we were at a shopping center and they had this awesome candy store and we went to it and they had these two big gummy bears outside with sunglasses on and these hearts and we took a photo. So now I'm going to go in. I got this at it's twine and I got it at Hobby Lobby they had a 50% off sale on their Valentine stuff so I picked it up because I knew I was going to be doing this sketch and I thought this would be perfect so 
it feels like there's a wire in the inside of it, which there probably is, but I couldn't really tell. But um, what I do is I'm just going to go around in a circle with it. And it's got these red sparkle little, like, they look like berries on them. And it was in the Valentine section that I got this. So it is a Valentine twine. And I'm going to go in the circle and use my glue dots. And I'm just going to stick it behind them and stick it down on my paper. This was the easiest way I found to, to keep this down. Um, glue, it would just take a while and it would be a little messy with me. And so I decided to do it this way and I found it much easier. So, and the glue dots do stick very well. And I go down, I go around a second time as well with this twine. I didn't want to just do it once, I wanted to do it at least two times. So that's what I did. And then I cut it. So while I'm doing that, I just wanted to remind you guys not to forget to check out the other ladies who are doing Mixed Media Frenzy this week. This week, I will have their links down below, so make sure you check them out. And we're having so much fun doing this series, so I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, and I think it's really cool how we all have a different take on these layouts and use different products. So once I get this all down, I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to kind of tuck that under there. And then I'm going to come back in with my photos and my doily. And first I'm going to back my photos with some craft foam because I want them to pop up off the page. And I also did back my photos with a piece of white cardstock, but I didn't show you guys that because I didn't think you guys really needed to see that. So, um... Now I'm just backing them and then I'm going to tuck one a little bit under the wreath and the other one on the side. So you'll see that in a minute. And I'm also going to glue down my doily with some scotch glue that I love using because it definitely sticks. So if you haven't used scotch glue on your mixed media, this is the best stuff, I'm telling you. It really sticks well. So I get that stuck down. Now I thought I was going to use four of these paper hearts that I had, but I only end up using these two. So what I do is I just tape them together first so that I can move them as one piece. And now I'm going to glue them down on top of the doily as well. And then you'll see me put down my photos on top of that. And I love the way this page turned out because there was so much textures and just a whole bunch of fun things going on on there. And I just really think it turned out really cool. So now you're gonna see me, I'm gonna tuck this one down a little bit under the wreath there on the bottom. And then this one's gonna go over and I am gonna cut a piece off the side that um, it, that the picture's covering because I don't need it, so. And it was hard to stick down. So I cut that off and then I just stick it down. And I'm just gonna tuck those underneath and that's it. So that's that. And then you're going to see me go in with some embellishments. Um, I'm going to use these wood um, veneer hearts that I had. And I got these at Hobby Lobby as well with the 50% off. And um, I used three of them. But I'm not going to leave them this color. I'm going to color them with some Distress Oxide. And you'll see I'm going to come in in a minute with that. And I used Picked Raspberry and um, Candid Apple. So you'll see me use those. And I also picked this other um, one that I found in my stash that says um, Live, Laugh, Love. Or Love? No. What is it? Live, Laugh, Love, I believe it says. Or love, live, laugh. I can't remember. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I stick that on there as well. So I do two in red. And then I do the other two hearts in the pink. And I'm just using my little dauber tool. And I'm just dabbing it on a piece of paper towel. And then um, I let them dry a little bit. And then I stick them down with some um, glue dots as well. Because that was the easiest way to glue to glue those down. I tried the scotch glue and it just did not stick on top of this um, twine. So the glue dots stuck really well. 
and I'm just figuring out where I'm gonna put them. And I do end up putting one up here, the one on the side of the picture, the one on the bottom of the picture, and then one on the other side. So I kind of went like on each side and top and bottom, basically. And then you're gonna see me come in with these really cute bows that I got at Tuesday morning. And they're pink. There's all kinds of them. There's pink glittery ones, and they're just super cute. They're Heidi Swap. And I decided to use this polka dot pink one and I used another pink one that I believe is just pink with white polka dots, yeah. So I used that, and then I went in my flower stash, and I found these really cute little flowers. Some have glitter, some do not, and they all have like little um, enamel dots in the middle, shiny, like crystal ones. And I used some little ones and some medium-sized ones, and I just kind of scatter them throughout the page around and then you'll see me glue them down with my um, scotch glue. And this just came together so nicely and so cute. I absolutely love, love it so much. Um, and then I come in with some purple ones because the one bear is purple, the one gummy bear. So I really wanted to stick some purple on this page. And I like purple too for Valentine's Day, so... I mean, and this isn't really a Valentine's Day picture. It's just the bears happen to be gummy bears, and they had a heart on them, and it says love sugar. So I thought it was perfect. Um, and I didn't do a title on this because my title is going to be Love Sugar because basically that's what we were doing. We were going in that candy store, and we knew we were going to walk out with something. <laughs> and we did lots of stuff. So they had really cool candies in there and um, the girls picked out two and I picked out one myself. So, and now I'm just gonna glue down all these little flowers and I really like how the flowers just fit in perfectly with the layout and I got to use them, which um, sometimes it's hard to find things um, to use with your layouts. You're like, what am I ever going to use these? And then you end up using them. So now I'm going to go in with these um, puffy hearts. And they got patterns on them. And these are from the Head in the Clouds collection by Chamel. And so I decided to use a couple of these on there. Because she had these pink ones and some purple. And they just have, you can't really tell on camera. But they do have like little designs on them. And I like them. It just gave the page a little more something else. And now I'm gonna go on with these heart these ones that I got at Hobby Lobby as well. And they're a little shiny. And I put a couple down on the page as well. I use a lot of the tiny ones, not too many big ones. Um, and I just stick them like in a few corners and near the flowers and stuff like that. They're really cute hearts. I really like them a lot. And once I get those down, I don't think I put anything else. Cause this is a lot. So I don't, I'm not really sure. I can't remember, sorry. Um, but I don't think I put any more hearts or anything and flowers or anything like that. I think the page is pretty much done. And I just love the way it turned out. And I hope you guys do too. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And please, please, please leave comments because I love to hear you guys and what you think of my layouts. Um, I really do. I read every comment. I try to get back to you guys and um, yeah, you guys give me inspiration to want to keep going and doing what I'm doing. So thank you very much. And that's it guys so there it is so here are your close-ups and see the wood veneers the distress oxide works great and so easy to paint them oh and I used a little shaker one too I forgot to show that a little shaker sticker which was so cute 
So I hope you guys like it and don't forget to check out the other ladies and I will see you again soon. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.